than all the homicides you see here on the news. And now new statistics for the Centers for Disease Control show the drug epidemic is getting worse. Many local county governments are trying some new ways now to attack this problem. Greenville County, in fact, filed a lawsuit yesterday against the major pharmaceutical companies. 7 News reporter Aaron Rogers is joining me here at 7 on Main now with a lot more on what they hope this lawsuit will accomplish, Aaron. Well, Amy, Greenville County leaders tell me in the lawsuit they're targeting pharmaceutical companies for deceptively marketing opioid drugs. They say they're holding everyone responsible, including pharmacies and sales representatives. I was looking forward to when my medication would come each month. I spoke to Angela Cantone in the fall. She became addicted to an opioid after her doctor prescribed a powerful drug she never should have been taking for her condition. The recovery experts say there are dozens of others like her. In her case, she says her doctor and the drug company were working together. They took good parents or good spouses and turned them into drug addicts just to put money in their pockets. Comes in a packet like this. Canton filed her own lawsuit, and Greenville County Council is trying to stand up for people like her. We just couldn't be passive in, in seeing this crisis expand in the community with all the ripple effects it's causing uh, when we had something available that council could do and which it ultimately decided to do. Greenville County Council filed this lawsuit Monday. They're targeting big drug companies, pharmacies, and sales reps. But you can't deny the fact that this marketing to, to doctors and this pushing the overprescribing of pain medication contributed uh, mightily to the problem that we're faced with. In Greenville County in 2016, more than 720 doses of Narcan were given out to people overdosing. They're seeing a, a trend, a pattern of this kind of stuff. It's a problem that's adding up, too. It's a human tragedy of enormous proportions. It's also a very costly one for citizens. Greenville is joining the state and other local counties who are also suing, wanting the big drug companies to pay up. And if there's a settlement, uh, then Greenville County would use its proceeds to uh, treat and prevent similar types of uh, issues that individuals have going forward. So treating and prevention, dig into that a little deeper for us. What does that mean? If they could win some money from this suit, they would pump it into what programs? It would go to organizations like Favor Greenville and the Phoenix Center that do all of these rehabilitation programs. Favor, or Phoenix Center also has the um, detox center. So right. treatments like that that would kind of prevent this problem from spreading so large in our county. Yep. And I do want to make note that Greenville County isn't the only one. Uh, Spartanburg yep. is also using the same attorney to represent them in the lawsuit they filed. And Anderson County is also looking at doing this as well. All right. So certainly a new idea, and we will keep an eye on it closely. Erin, thanks. A